Hello everyone, we're inside the friary. We're gonna talk about the great season of Lent, the time of fasting and abstinence. When we come to the gym, we always have a goal in mind. And that goal is usually health and fitness. But to achieve this, you know, we know we're gonna to have to spend some time in the gym with blood, sweat, and tears. It's gonna take hard work. You know, we're gonna to have to have a good diet as well. Lent is very similar. In Lent, we enter the 40 days of Jesus in the desert. It's a time of fasting, a time of abstinence, but there has to be a goal. And the goal of Lent ultimately is to be more Christ-like. You know, Jesus tells us, he says, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. The prophet Hosea says uh, through the Lord that God desires mercy, not sacrifice, and knowledge of his ways. So this has to be our goal to be more Christ-like. That's why we abstain, that's why we fast. And so when we're uh, thinking about or considering what to do for Lent, what is gonna make us more Christ-like? Yeah, we gotta give up things. Yeah, we gotta abstain. But this should help us become more like Jesus Christ, showing mercy, showing love. St. Paul says, offer yourselves to God as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to him, the Lord, your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind so that you may be able to do what is pleasing and perfect in the sight of God, so that we may be able to discern his will more carefully. And the will of God, first and foremost, is to be like Jesus Christ, to love like him, to show mercy like him. So in considering and planning out your Lent, whether you're uh, giving up uh, chocolate or peanut butter or limiting your time on social media, think about how these things you're giving up and what you're doing as far as alms and charity is going to make you more Christ-like. Because ultimately, we want union with God. We want to do this prayerfully. And so we want to be a greater reflection of Jesus Christ. The places where we go, whether it's at work, it's your neighborhood, when you go to the stores, the organizations you're in, we want people to see Jesus first and foremost. And that starts with our prayer, with our time alone with Him. So as you plan out your Lent, go before Jesus, ask Him, how am I going to reflect you more? What should I do to give up so that I could be more like you? God bless you all. Thank you for watching. And please like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends about this. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.